Hi, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing really, really well today. We've had a really nice start to our weekend, our morning. I had my midwife appointment this morning, so I got to hear a little Squidge's heartbeat again, got measured, just a really quick checkup. <laughs> They're coming much more fast these days um, as I approach the end of, well, my due date, basically. <laughs> And then we decided to go out for breakfast, something we never do, really, really rarely do we go out for breakfast. So that was really lovely. And what was most lovely is where we went. I went a lot last year because over the road from it is where I got my bridesmaid dresses from and had my wedding dress altered. So I was there a lot this time last year. So it just felt really nostalgic and lovely to go back and their breakfast pancakes are always spot on and they do really good coffee as well. So that was the morning <laughs> and then now it feels like we're in November already, honestly. It's so grey, so drizzly, but that's fine because I wasn't really planning to do very much today, but I thought I would say hello, bring you guys along, see what we get up to <laughs> before I crack on and make myself a nice cuppa. I wanted to say thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love HelloFresh, I share them a lot on this channel and I've been a customer of theirs for many, many years now. Really love them because they just make life so much easier. When you feel a bit overwhelmed, when you've lost all of your inspiration for what to make or you're trying to stick to a very specific budget as well. So if you don't know already, they are a meal delivery service where you can choose how many meals you want, how often you want them delivered and they arrive straight to your door, it's very convenient very easy. They're all in these little bags, you just pop them in the fridge and off you go. It's so simple and it's just one of those things that just takes so much out of my brain and it's so nice to be able to delegate that sometimes. They've got a wide variety of meals to choose from as well and it really helps me to get out of a rut with eating. It saves so much time and effort, especially with planning meals and around this time of year as well. I just think it's really hard when you've got a lot of social engagements coming up and you're not really sure where you are from one day to the next and sometimes with that comes that feeling of stress and overwhelm of like, what do we eat? And so for me, just being able to go on there, look through all of their recipes and just choose the ones that jump out at me is just so nice. And it means that we have a variety of meals as well, rather than me just making the same three things over and over and over again. <laughs> One thing that I love is that their meals reflect the seasons. So, you know, as we're changing seasons and going into different weather, um, you want different food, it's natural. You know, when it's gray and dreary like today, you crave like comfort food. When it's hot and sunny, you're craving fresh, delicious recipes. And I really feel like HelloFresh help to facilitate that. So that's what I've chosen this week. I'm gonna show you guys what we've picked out this week. So these are the recipe cards. And as you can see, they're very simple, very easy to follow. They say what they are, what the ingredients are on the side, and there's a little number in the corner that corresponds to the bag that's in the fridge as well so super easy super quick really really love that it's picture instructions as well on the back we had this one the other day and wow it was so good the mac and cheese was definitely my favorite part i love love mac and cheese and it was a really simple recipe that i just had no idea how to make it so this week we got the big cheesy which is actually a plant-based recipe. So plant-based burger, mac and cheese, burger sauce, and balsamic dressed salad. Delicious. We've got the sweet chili tofu and roasted pepper burger with chips and tomato and rocket salad. That just looks so nice. I could eat these chips right now. And then the one I'm most looking forward to is sausages in mushroom sauce with garlic mash and roasted carrots. <gasps> Does this not scream autumn or what? This just looks so so nice, I'm really excited to try this. You can also pause or cancel your subscription at any point and you can change your delivery too. So you can change where it's being delivered to, which I think is fantastic. And as I said before, there are different styles of recipes. So we've got classic, we've got these veggie burgers. There's also family friendly, premium, rapid, low calorie. There are so many options, honestly, it's amazing. But it really helps me personally to stay on budget and to make nutritious meals when I'm not really feeling up to it. You know, some days I'm not feeling great at the minute and it just means that I know what to do. I could go in the fridge, pick it out, we're good to go and I'm making delicious meals for me and my family and especially the little squidge in here who is very important is getting his vitamins and nutrients um, and not just eating cheese on toast. If you want to try HelloFresh for yourself you can use the code LIVING60 for 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes which is such a fantastic code so 
I'll make sure I leave that down in the description and on the screen as well for you all to try out but I highly recommend them I really really do and I'm really looking forward to making our sausage and mash in a little while I think we're gonna have a bit of an early dinner today I really have to stop myself from saying tea because no one knows what I'm talking about apart from anyone that's from the north <laughs> it's a very specific thing that we would say tea as our evening meal but people think I'm on about having a cup of tea and that's just not correct <laughs> So yeah, no idea, no idea what we're going to get up to this afternoon, but I'm happy you're here and hopefully it's just a nice calming chill vlog and a bit of a fly on the wall one as well. literally feels like winter I've got the light on it's that dark in the house today I can't believe it oh, I've got my favorite tea at the minute that I am just enjoying so much I limit myself to one a day but I'm having peppermint and honey tea and I cannot get enough of it I usually have it on an evening but because we had pancakes for breakfast I feel like my digestion just needs a bit of a bit of a hug so that's what we're going with today I'm just gonna have this but I think it's probably too hot yeah no it's way too hot <laughs> That's the only problem with um, herbal teas, you don't put anything to cool them down. I think I will show you guys a little tiny baby haul for those of you who are interested in cute clothes I found on Vinted and then I'm going to take you all in the garden, hopefully, if it's not raining, and show you all the garden tour. I feel like this time last year we had the nicest weather. I was out there constantly and I was really able to show you all how our garden was changing with the seasons and it's so beautiful out there so it's such a shame that I've not been able to do the same this year. Like I am pretty sure this time last year I was in the paddling pool, eating magnums, getting my tan for our wedding and this year, no. <laughs> this year is not the same but what can you do it's just the way it is sometimes and uh, I do love a cosy day I'm not gonna lie so anyway Without further ado, let me show you what I got. This just arrived today. This is just the cutest thing ever. I don't even know how I'm supposed to show you these. Probably should have just done them flat. Just a cute little woolly, woolly overall with a little pom pom hat and matching trousers. <laughs> and then I've got this cute woodland jumper. You can tell I like autumn. I'm having to rein myself in a little bit and remind myself by the time he's big enough for these clothes, it's gonna be like midwinter, like January time. <laughs> I got him some uh, pajamas. These were actually new, but from Vinted. And I'm really hoping he fits in them on Christmas day, but maybe they're gonna be, you know, a little bit too big, but that's fine. We'll still be rocking the Christmas pajamas into February. I don't mind. I also got this, oh, I would love him to be able to wear this on Christmas Day. How cute would that be? So sweet. I can't help myself but share clothes with you all. I know I said about him not being a big part of his channel. He won't be when he is actually here. Um, but I can't resist whilst I'm nesting. I just really want to show you all because I know you all find them just as cute as me. Um, the cutest jumper ever. <laughs> this is what I mean. Everything is like on autumnal feel to it but it's just what I'm so drawn to. So that comes with little matching trousers. Cute! <laughs> and then one of our amazing friends, the one who knitted the giraffe, made him a little jumper. How cute is that? I, I am a sucker for like handmade crochet things. These are the trousers that match with the little Rudolph jumper that I showed you a second ago. And then I set my mum on with the task. We are trying reusable nappies, as some of you may know. And I really wanted to try wool pants for him on a night time. How cute are these? She's so talented, I can't believe 
I looked at the knitting pattern and was like, nope. She just made these in a weekend. I'm absolutely blown away. They are so, so soft. So I just need to lanolize these and then I'm gonna give it a go. So we'll see how that goes. She also made the most gorgeous little yellow cardigan. I'm in love with this color of yellow. It's so beautiful and soft and buttery. It reminds me of buttercups. I think that's what it is that it reminds me of. She also made this, which some of you may not have heard of. I'd never heard of it till my nephew was born. It's an umbilical tie instead of the plastic clamp. So I'm looking forward to having this because those plastic clamps freak me out <laughs> and it's just a little bit softer on his belly as well. But how cute, she went for a sunflower. And I just feel like that's perfect because we've got so many sunflowers in our garden. And then also have two blankets here that my mum made and I've got one from my nana too, but I've not actually got that at home yet. So we've got this gorgeous one. I don't know what this, it, what it reminds me of but it's so soft and so beautiful and I love the colours of it. And then she also made this one. When I said it's gonna to be top to toe in wool, I was not lying. <laughs> How nice is that? Ah, oh, crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I am, I am full blown nesting. That is what we are doing. Someone hasn't got the memo yet that he's gonna be a big brother, have you? Hey, mm. he's so cute, he's so cute. But yeah, I just, um, I'm spending my days off just pottering and getting things done, getting things cleaned and I'm looking forward to sharing more like nesting style videos but I just think these vlogs I'm going to do every few weeks and just share whatever's on my mind, there's no specific thing to them. Um, I think he's going to go to sleep on all the blankets. <laughs> but let's go get some fresh air, I'm going to let the cats out because Rory's a bit restless and I will show you all the garden. And then hopefully I can come back in and drink my cup of tea. <laughs> Almost forgot the most adorable thing ever. My friend Sophie from Under the Willow Pottery made these little stinky cute things. We both said we can't believe there are gonna be feet this tiny in our lives very, very soon. How adorable. This just really makes me want to start knitting. I really wanna knit myself some socks as well for myself this year. So maybe, we'll see. We'll see if I ever find the brain space to learn how to knit, but oh, how cute, how cute. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It's a bit blustery out here, but we do need to cut the grass, but I thought why not just show you anyway. So over here, our little rose tree is doing so well. It's so, so happy. And we've also got some honeysuckle mixed in. Don't know if you can see that. Which I'm really pleased about. I had no idea if this was going to grow so I'm so happy it did. There's some more there look. So cute. It's got a bit wild so we do need to do some taming of it. We've also got a little rose garden down here. The roses are doing quite well this year actually. So we've got this one. These are my favourite. They smell so good. A little, oh. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that one. It's snowing! <laughs> My herb garden has looked better, but my sunflowers look very happy. Well, some of them do. Some of them are starting to turn, which is why I wanted to show you guys the garden today. Our little fuchsia is doing, I say little, it's actually ginormous. I love these. They just look like little fairies. So cute. That's massive now. I've got the hydrangea, jack and the beanstalks, massive sunflower. He must be eight foot by now. This is crazy. This is a six foot fence, so is going some. The eucalyptus has got a life of its own again. But really, really happy. The sweet peas are trying to make a comeback. Let me know if you think I should cut back what's already dead um, and save some of the seeds for next year. I think we're in for... <laughs> I really hope you saw that. Um, I think we're in for a storm. It feels very wet in the air today. I've got all these little sunflowers here that are doing so well. This little guy too. This little guy I'm so happy with. He's the only one of my um, two coloured sunflowers that survived. None of the red ones survived this year. But he's just come out of nowhere. I didn't even know he was there, so that makes me very happy. The daisies are kind of on the way out, which is why I wanted to show you as well. But yeah, it's all looking good. We get lots and lots of birds coming here. So we get robins, blue tits, all sorts of things. And the clematis has done really well this year. A bit too well actually, it's a bit vigorous. It keeps falling off the um, the lattice. <laughs> Excuse the um, 
the inside out bag we had a bit of a shopping disaster the other day so it's just airing out and then i've got some more sunflowers here that i've just done so well i'm so happy with them they're so beautiful and this one down here is looking a bit sad actually oh dear ah, love this bit of the garden with the wind chime it's just so peaceful down here and then we've got the sweet peas which have come back for a second life i'm super happy i planted these here i think my favorite variety are these tiny little ones how cute are they so we've got those on that side and then some others on this side as well we planted quite a variety but um it's mostly pinks and whites to be honest that have come through so <laughs> the strawberries have a life of their own and the hydrangeas finally come into life are you okay there Hey, it's starting to rain. It is. <laughs> yeah, so this is doing really well this year, thankfully. I've had lots of these to take in and enjoy. The pear tree. I think we should have pruned it a bit better than we did because it's very floppy. But we've got lots of pears, so I'm going to make loads of things this year with these. I'm very excited about that. And then, yeah, we've got a few hydrangeas spotted around magnolia which is really strange i think everything is confused we've actually got a flower and i don't think this is the right time of year for it to be flowering so that's a bit strange <laughs> but leah and then yeah background i've got no idea what this is called but i love it so much how beautiful is that so yeah that's pretty much the garden we do need to um get some work done on this bit here as well it's gone a bit wild but yeah we love it out here and the cats do as well i've just come to sit outside and enjoy the fresh air you know before it rains i think it's important to do that i've not been able to make very much use of my egg chair this year to be honest it's been quite drizzly in england um a lot of you follow me are from england i think it's like 50 percent of you are from england but the rest of you are from all over the place it's just been a really strange summer so far but it's been fine it's been quite nice i think being pregnant as well it's just been nice to not be too hot all the time um but yeah it's kind of making me crave autumn because we get these days where it's cooler and then we get these really hot days and it throws me and i'm like oh i don't know how to do the heat and my wardrobe i, I just don't know what to wear anymore um but it feels really nice and it's nice as well that we get in these cozy days but the garden just looks so nice because we are actually in summer maybe we can get like an indian summer in september we'll see <laughs> now um, we are having like i said earlier sausages in mushroom sauce with garlic mash and roast carrots i will probably need to fish out the mushrooms though because does not like mushrooms and that is okay um i had a really nice cozy afternoon we're having a bit of an early tea one i hope you guys are the same when you go out for breakfast it's a lovely idea but then you end up like weirdly full for the rest of the day so we've kind of skipped a meal so we're gonna have an early tea and then later on tonight if we get hungry again we can make a sandwich have cheese on toast i've been living for cheese on toast but before i toast it under the grill it has to have caramelized onions on you know like the um the relishes you can get oh 
definitely try that if you haven't already but that's been doing me well and uh, keeping me full through the night because I keep waking up starving hungry at like 4am so yeah we're gonna have a bit of an early tea than we usually would but it's just such a nice <laughs> are you playing the milk cap that I took off the milk ended up on the floor and Echo's just like passing it around on the floor but yeah, it's just been a really nice chilled out afternoon. I sometimes think these vlogs must be so boring to watch, but honestly they're some of my favourite to watch with other people's when you're just pottering about, just having a normal day, and uh, hopefully shows that you don't need to spend loads and loads of money to just have a nice chilled out afternoon. But my favourite thing at the minute is just getting into bed early and enjoying, enjoying these last few months of being able to do that, you know, without any other responsibility. So that is... Uh, that is my plan. I'm going to definitely take all my makeup off, wash my face, get into bed, snuggle up and just have a nice peaceful evening to finish off a very, very relaxing day. It's been lovely. So yeah, I'm going to make this and then we'll eat it. Probably going to eat it at the table. Um, I always find, so we're one of those families that like to sit on the sofa to eat our tea, especially if Dom's had a long day at work. It's just so much cosier. We used to watch a programme while we ate tea, but we've stopped doing that recently. And sometimes now it's sunny, she says, <laughs> whilst looking out at the rain. We like to sit outside but when it's like a Sunday dinner or like you know like something with a gravy I much prefer to sit at the table so I'm gonna set the table we're also thinking we need to get into the habit of doing that for when little one is here so that uh, so we're getting him into good habits as well because uh, we'll definitely be sitting him at the table in his high chair at some point anyway I'm gonna stop procrastinating I'm gonna pop the oven on and we shall get cooking
feels good to have no makeup on my face, to be able to see. I don't know why I've not had my glasses on all day. <laughs> I am going to watch some TV, I think, tonight. I've got no idea what to watch. If you all know any good series that you recommend, please let me know. I watch a variety of things. I've just finished watching the last series of Manifest and it was so good. If you're bored and you need something to <laughs> waste many, many, many hours, then I definitely recommend Manifest. Wasn't really sure where it was going to start with, but in the end, I really got into it. Um, so that's what I was watching. And now I'm just kind of at a loss. I really wanted to watch a program called Yorkshire Midwives on Call that was on BBC last year, but they've taken it off and I'm so sad because I really wanted to rewatch it. But Alas, you can't have everything in this world, can you? I've got some chocolate to keep me company in here. I've got this that Dom's mum and dad brought us back from Belgium, which is very indulgent. It's praline and caramel. It's so good. It is so yummy. Inside, it's like... Oh! <laughs> it's literal... Oh my god, I'm making a mess. It is literal caramel inside. Oh, so good. So I'm going to tuck into that. I've got myself another cup of tea, one of my pregnancy safe teas, and I really enjoy just getting into bed, getting tucked up, getting cosy, and enjoying watching some TV, some YouTube, whatever. I just enjoy it all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget as well to check out HelloFresh. Wow, our meal tonight was so good, so good. Do you know what it is? It's the simple things. I said to Dom while we were eating it, I would never think to roast garlic and put the garlic in the mash. It was so nice and so simple when you've already got the oven on as well. So you can use my code LIVING60 for 60% 60 off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes at checkout. I'll make sure I leave the link down below, but it's a really good deal. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you have not done already. And yeah, I love love being here with you all. Thank you so much for <laughs> letting me take it a bit slower these last few weeks. I feel like I've just needed it and it's just been really nice to get settled, get everything in my actual physical life sorted out for a little man arriving in, well, November, October, November time, which is very, very much creeping up on us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be back next week with another video and I'll try and scatter these vlogs in as we go along up until October when I'll be going on my maternity leave for a little while. And it's going to be very strange not to check in with you all. So I'm making the most of it now while I can. But yes, I am going to go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Coming back week in, week out means the absolute world to me. I really hope you have a really fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.